All right, I'm going to show you an easy way to uh, crown your frets after they have been properly leveled. I'm going to do a video on leveling your frets properly also. Um, this one is about crowning frets. And after, you know, you've leveled your frets, they've got flat spots on them, and you need to recrown them to a nice little thin strip of an edge on top of that fret. Nice little round crown. Um, you'll need a piece of wood. I generally use a, would use a piece um, from a leftover neck blank that you've cut off. You know, at least uh, two or three inches wide and at least an inch on the edge. You know, I wouldn't do too much more. Inch is good. Uh, I'll need some uh, regular tape, just masking tape, and some double sided tape. We're going to do some uh, different grits of sandpaper. I would start out at 320. Go to about 800, then to about 1200, and end around 1500. Alright, and we'll traditionally, when you crown frets, when I first learned about 30 years ago, we would, all we had was these right here the uh, traditional three sided crowning file. And these are all Stuart McDonald files I'm going to show you. You can use whatever brand you want. Um, and generally, you would come in and you would have to round over these edges. Very tedious and it took a really long time. But they're still great for some things. Spot, spot leveling a fret. You got just a little spot in a certain area. Then we could, they come out with the uh, concave crowning files. This is a diamond file from Stuart McDonald. Um, I really don't like these for crowning. I just don't. Um, they just never leave that nice little sliver of a edge you need on the top of your fret. Um, what I do find these really good for, is this is a two-sided one. You have like 300 grit diamond on this side. This side has 150 for taking off a lot of material if you need to. Um, <clears throat> what I find these really good for, this concave, is after you have crowned your frets and before you take your little edge file and uh, round off your edges, I like to take these from the side here and just kind of gently work the edge and it gives them that nice little round edge on the side okay <clears throat> and then Stuart McDonald come out with the original Z file this is the uh, my preferred crowning file um, this is the best file I've ever used for crowning and I can do them very quickly using this file uh, they're really expensive all of these are pretty expensive. This one's over a hundred dollars and you don't want to spend all that money you don't have to because I'm going to show you a way to perfectly crown your frets and what we're going to do using this piece of wood is we're basically going to cut you off a little three or four inch length and then you're going to need a saw use a miter saw uh, or if you don't have one or a table saw uh, you can get real cheaply at Walmart or Lowe's Home Depot those places you can get a little cheap miter box they generally come with a saw but you're going to need to uh, cut you off a 45 degree angle and you're going to want to cut it a little short you're going to want to uh, leave you yourself about a quarter of an inch lip on there so just pull your saw back cut it off leave you a little lip don't do it no more than a quarter of an inch and I'll show you later but when you get up high on your fretboard the uh, you know of course the uh, frets get more narrow to get closer to each other 
that's about as wide as you want that quarter of an inch you can make it a little less if you want um, but if it's any wider you're going to have a hard time getting in between those higher frets they're more closer together um, I'm using sticky tape and and I've got this is the one I want to show you how to do this but you can also and I'm going to show you the reason here for the uh, double sided tape if you don't have a uh, sticky tape um, and also you can uh, cut off a 45 on both sides and go ahead and tape you up some different grits of sandpaper so you don't have to uh, keep changing it um, okay here's what we're going to do that piece has already been taken off a few times okay here we have a strip of the double sided tape going down my 45 degree side we're going to take your uh, <coughs> sandpaper basically lay your 45 degree side on there and just cut you you know trace it out cut you off a strip for the entire length of that 45 degree angle and um, what we're going to do here you have your double sided tape Whoops. we're going to take the bottom edge of our piece of sandpaper we cut off we're going to flush that right we're gonna, it's on this side <laughs> We're going to flush that right to the edge of our lip. Okay, there we go. And we're going to take a piece of masking tape or um, scotch tape, whatever. Put a little strip at the top and just fold it over. That not only helps keep the uh, piece of sandpaper on, but when I show you what we're going to do, it, it's going to wear off the bottom of this piece of sandpaper right here. About an eighth of an inch maybe, not even that much. So what we can do is just take this tape off and it will pretty much lift that piece of sandpaper off your double sided tape. You take that off, take your scissors and cut that little strip of used up sandpaper off. Just take it, snip it off, now you have a fresh edge of sandpaper. So just move that, now just move that down, flush it back up with your edge, put it back on, and you can quickly just uh, get in a fresh piece of uh, sandpaper to do this with. So that's that. That's how you make this. And I'm going to show you how to use it. Um, yeah, this is just for a demonstration, and all I did was uh, just put two frets in this piece of wood here. And um, okay, let's just say I'm going to uh, give it a quick little level, as if we just leveled our the frets on our fretboard. There we go. I'm going to do it a little more in just a couple of spots <laughs> because uh, you know when you uh, level a fretboard some of the frets are going to be higher and some are going to be lower than others so when you level a fretboard you're, they're not always going to be uniformly flat across the fret some of them will be narrow if it was low the fret was low you know, your little strip where you sand it, where you leveled it, it'll be more narrow in those spots or more wider if they were high. So, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to take our little tool. And, um, that flat edge right there. Oh, almost forgot. Now, sometimes, depending on what I'm doing, I will tape off the entire fretboard. When I'm doing this, I will not do that. It's a waste of huge waste of tape what I'm going to do is just tear me off two strips of some masking tape and I'm just going to uh, 
put it on up to the edge of the fret and do the other side all right and that way when you go from fret to fret you can just take your tape off and take that piece off and then put it on the next fret and before it, the sticky wears out you can do quite a few frets saves a lot of tape also so all right here we go and i hope that camera right here is picking this up we're going to take our flat edge take the flat edge right here we're going to put it right before the uh, fret and we're going to make sure that flat edge is um, flat on the uh, fretboard. And then we'll just move our, keep it flat, just move it up to the fret and we're just going to start going back and, oh well, I forgot a very important thing here. Uh, we need to uh, mark that off with our marker. Wow. Alright, there we go. And by putting the marker on there, it'll show our progress. What we're wanting to do is leave a very... You can see it's flat on top. What we want to do is round that back off so there's a very small sliver of a black line in the very center. Okay, here we go again. Keep that flat just put it up to the fret and just don't press too hard and uh, be careful not to yeah just don't force it and don't tr try not to scratch over it because if you wear that fret down it's, it's going to be lower than the other frets and you're going to have to re-level the entire fretboard to get down to where you uh knock more off of that fret so just be careful sit that flat move up to the uh, fret and we're just going to uh, move my fingers out of the way we're just going to uh, start going back and forth all the way across the fret there we go we're a little over now what we're going to do here okay we've leveled off the toward the bottom part of the fret now we've got to uh, take off some where as it starts rounding over up on the shoulder so what we're going to do put it flat against the fret again now um, using this edge right here of the flat part we're just going to uh, kind of tilt it forward a little bit and just make sure you're still flat on that edge and we're just going to do the same thing just a little bit at a time and you can always just stop and check your progress <laughs> all right I'm going to turn it around now and do the other side since I'm right-handed is the reason I'm turning it around. Okay, now we're going to do this side. Same, in the same fashion. Put your flat edge down. Make sure it's nice and flat. Just don't force it. Put it up to the fret and just gently go back and forth. You can stop at any time to, uh, Whoops, see, I just went over there, and, yeah, it's not too bad, you know, as long as you're not, I start out at 320. If you use anything below that, you're going to scratch it real bad, but we're still good, so, we're going to do the flat, 45 degree angle. Okay, now like the other side, we're going to come back flat against the fret 
and we're going to tilt it forward a little bit so we knock ground off that shoulder of the upper part of the fret. Okay, right now we still have a nice little we got a nice little sliver right in the center of the fret. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it back. And now I'm going to tilt it just a little tiny bit farther than the last time. Because we're wanting to even up that uh, top up there. And I'm going to do that again to the other side. Just round off the very top part of it. Put it back up flat, tilt it just a little bit farther, and round that top off. There. I hope that camera can pick that up because that is a perfect little sliver of a black line going down the very center of that fret. And um, all right, now that's what we're after right there. Now what we're going to do now is the different grits of sandpaper. You know, I think this is like 800, somewhere around there. Um, the different grits you want to go up in grits. Now right here we're we're not taking any material off the fret at this point now this is going to be a very gentle and I'm actually made the edge on this side not like the quarter inch up here again but this one just a little more narrow because what I'm doing here is the same thing I'm keeping it flat against the fret but I'm, I'm barely even touching that fret I'm just barely going over it because I just want to get out what deeper you know they're not deep at all but I want to get out those scratches from the 320 I'm gonna tilt it forward just a little bit just gently rub on there you're almost you basically helping polish this right now just a little more do the other side Start out to 45 and just gently touch it. You're not wanting to take off any material. And then tilt it forward just a little bit. And then go up to the top. Now we still have oops, we still have that perfect little sliver of a centered line in the middle of the fret. I hope the camera's picking it up, but um yeah that's exactly what we're after so now we have a perfectly crowned fret using a simple homemade tool you can make it home for next to nothing and uh i, I don't remember i've only seen this idea once and i don't remember where i even saw this but <laughs> it's pretty cool and i know this will help a lot of the uh cigar box builders out because you know I like to spend money on tools but sometimes I don't if I can make it real cheaply and to be honest if I would saw this little trick before I bought those files I, I might not be owning those files right now but with that said just do the same thing go up and um go up and grit until you get to about 1500 and like I said just gently caress it gently caress it on each side you're, you're just basically helping polish it and after you've went through all that you can now you can now take that line off the top you don't need it no more of course I still got that scratch right there you can take some very very fine steel wool and give it a good uh, buffing out.
and we have a very nicely rounded crowned fret now right here before I take my uh, fret in file and make them nice and smooth on the end I bring this file back up and this is where I like to um, come on the edges and just give it a little gentle once over just to round that it end of that fret off to make it nice and round it's what you want from nice looking frets you want to have nice fret ends they're all nice and round and uniform all down the down the uh, fretboard and that's it I hope this helps y'all and I got some more stuff coming up so yeah thanks for watching